Communities along the Okoy River have had concerns that their business may not have a future. The Whitewater Outfitters are dependent on the Tennessee Valley Authority for water. News Channel 9's Catherine Marchand explains how new changes could affect your family's favorite summer pastime. The TVA controls water releases here on the Okoe. When they let the water flow, they lose the ability to generate power, but it's great for rafters. That's why both groups were really concerned when a 35 year old agreement was set to expire. For five years, Keith Jenkins has been wondering if his rafting business on the Okoe will stay afloat. He and the other Whitewater Outfitters have been negotiating a long standing contract with the TVA, which runs out at the end of the 2018 rafting season. So at that point, there was going to be no rafting. There was no plans. It costs the TVA money to release water. So without an agreement, there's no guarantee of that water for rafters. Jenkins says other industries from cabin rentals, uh, lodging, the restaurants rely on the business generated from the TVA's water releases too. It's just not the outfitting industry itself, it's the whole community. But the state of Tennessee got involved, and now they know that they can count on these releases. Robin Peak with the TVA says when the state pledged taxpayer dollars, an agreement was finally reached. Governor Haslam put $11.8 million in his budget to reimburse TVA for lost power revenues. Getting that money ensures that these releases are going to continue for the next 15 years. And over time, the outfitters will pay that money back. The new plan establishes a new fund, which simplifies things for them. They'll be the collection agency for the outfitters as they move forward instead of all separate agencies. In the past, TVA collected, the state collected. At one point, the Forest Service was collecting, the county was collecting, and we were making all those separate payments. Outfitters like Jenkins now relieve that their source of income won't dry up. We'll think we'll see additional investment in the area. Uh, the community continue to grow. This area of southeast Tennessee continue to grow and be stable. The new Okoy River and Recreation Economic Development Fund will be managed by a board and the outfitters will be represented. The money from the fund can be used for tourism promotion and economic development.